today we're talking about the Reebok times crossover Club C CNL. Tune in! station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe and if you're here for the first time make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for the Reebok times crossover Club C CNL. You guys are all probably thinking Zoe this is a freaking grandpa shoe but in my personal opinion I think it's dope probably because the silhouette looks like the Adidas Gazelle. In addition to that what I really like like about this sneaker is I envisioning it fitting with a nice tapered pair of jeans and you know in the future I'll probably do a Casa de Kicks plus fits with these sneakers to show you how dope this grandpa looking shoe looks. For those of you who don't know already, Crossover is a Malaysia based boutique that provides apparel and sneakers and it's pretty cool from what I've seen online. In addition to that, I feel like Reeboks are you know growing in popularity overseas and not necessarily in the United States but what do I know? I'm no fashionista, but I haven't seen a lot of people wearing it, at least in Cali, Northern California that is. Cool features of the sneaker that stand out to me are the pull tab at the back, which are in a gray and white material. As you can see, obviously, the whole upper is covered in white full grain leather. The shoe also comes with nice flat shoelaces. These ones particularly are white and gray in color, and it also comes with black shoelaces that also have some white polka dots on them and also have white flat shoelaces but I'll probably be rocking the gray and white sneaker shoelaces. The shoelaces also have gold tips which is a cool touch to the shoe as well and also I like the material of the leather it appears to be a full grain leather and also the detailing on the lateral and medial side of the sneaker is pretty cool in that it has this kind of mesh looking full grain leather and it also has the re insignia there with the British flag. The outsole and the midsole are also consisting of a rubber sole which is off-white or tan and last but not least the tongue of the sneaker also has a mesh kind of pattern going on on the tongue there and also has the Reebok insignia on the top of the tongue as well and a cool little message on the inside of the tongue reads be reasonable demand the impossible and I believe those are dope words to live by. Pricing wise, I've seen these range from 110 bucks to 120 bucks, but I got these for a discount on sneakers and stuff in the 80 range, and if it's still available, I'll put it down in the description section so you guys can purchase if interested. Sizing wise, these sneakers go true to size. I got these in my usual 12.5, and they fit me perfectly. My sneaker talk is up for today, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching my video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the information that was provided. Also remember, I release my videos every Sunday at 12 p.m. I release one a week. Hopefully down the road, I'll be able to release more content for you guys. But I appreciate you guys for watching my videos once again. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces. Deuces.